everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in my life this is just a day in lockdown studying relaxing you know everything you can do in lockdown to be honest made myself my breakfast just my usual porridge with banana and strawberries and not gonna lie i'm gonna eat it while i watch made in chelsea i've started made in chelsea from the very beginning and there's like 18 seasons or something so you know that's probably a bad decision so i might go and watch that in bed with my breakfast it is eight o'clock i've got a big day of studying ahead of me so i'm just gonna have a nice chilled morning <laughs> doing a bit of exercise this morning originally i was actually going to go on a run and i was going to do sort of like a speed session but i have a muscle that's hurting i think it might be my piriformis and it's probably just because i've been running a lot and so i'm going to rest it and not run on it but i still want to do a little something so i'm going to do a body pump class and i'm only going to do upper body because i don't want to put any stress on my piriformis so i'm just using the les mills on demand website and i'm doing the upper body workout it's only like 20 minutes and then i might do some yoga and some stretching after that if my piriformis kind of feels better later then i might maybe do some running later but if not then this is all fine like i just don't want to get injured so i'm gonna be careful with it I'm starting work now I actually only have one thing on today and that is a colorectal tutorial at like one so I have all morning to just do my own stuff I have my to-do list here obviously and basically the things I need to do this morning are two pathology lectures and they will be on the sort of vascular ulcer theme because that's what our week is this week that's kind of it to be honest there's a few case studies I can work through as well um, for this week and then the end of the week quiz other than that i just want to be making notes we've done like the upper gi upper gastrointestinal tract and like lower gi stuff already um and i just want to sort of go over my notes and condense them into handwritten notes so i'll be doing some of that and that's more kind of like revision for me yeah so i'm going to start off these pathology lectures they shouldn't take too long and there's only two of them so Hopefully I'll get them done this morning. And I've just realised I've never really sort of shown you around what our online medical course actually looks like and how I'm actually working. So I'm just going to show you that now. So this is basically all of our online weeks of teaching. So week one was cardiology, so chest pain. Week two was respiratory, etc, etc. And so these are the weeks that are still to come and they're sort of locked, so we can't go on to them yet. This is the current week, which is vascular and ulcer week. Um, and so basically here is the start of the week quiz. And then we have our Monday and Tuesday suggested learning, which is sort of all the lectures and things we're expected to do Monday and Tuesday. And I really like that they have this like tick box thing here because then when you've done them, it like automatically ticks them off, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, these are all of the Monday and Tuesday things. Then Wednesday is meant to be our kind of day off. And so we're meant to like relax. And then Thursday and Friday, we have more stuff set. And then we have all this sort of clinical stuff here, um, clinical examination and like examples of like patient histories. And then we have pathology, which is what I'm doing today. It says I've done it already, but that's just because I've opened it. And then we have four cases at the end of the week. So this is where a patient presents with a particular symptom and then you have to try and like um, diagnose the patient and um, investigate their symptoms. And then we have the end of the week quiz. So all in all, it's quite a bit to work through, but I feel like I get through it quite quickly. Um, and then I have lots of time to sort of revise and make my own notes. I finished 
finished both the pathology lectures. They did not take as long as I thought they would. I thought they would take me like the whole morning and they took like under an hour. So I've now got a long time until my seminar, which is fine because still plenty to do. So I was thinking I might do some of the case studies for this week, but I think I might save that for later on because it's more of a kind of chilled activity. Um, and now while I'm sort of feeling productive, I think I'm gonna make some notes. So like I said, I'm going over upper GI and lower GI at the moment, um, just because I think it's important to keep refreshing my memory and keep going over things in medicine because I can't just do something once and then know it. Like I have to keep going over it. So I'm basically just revising like a lot. So any time of the day when I'm not doing this week's work, I'm kind of going over old content. Um, and I don't know if I've said this before in a video, but we actually have the no detriment policy at Nottingham Med School. So we basically, as long as we pass our final exams this year, then we will get the grade that we were on before all of like coronavirus and lockdown happened. So I am currently on a first. And so if I pass, it means I will get a first in my BMED side. But I don't really want to just pass, to be honest. Like, I think the thing with medicine is that it's not just about getting a degree. Like, I actually want to know this stuff because I'm going to have to use it as a doctor. Um, and I just think there's no point in me not trying my hardest because, like, I'm obviously, the, be the, the harder I try to learn it, the better I do in the exam, the better off I'm going to be then in fifth year when I'm in, when I'm doing finals and when I'm about to become a doctor. So my mindset is always just, like, just do the best I can. Our exams are going to be online and they are open book. Like they're not really meant to be open book, but obviously there's no way that the med school can stop people from just looking up the answers. So technically I think people are going to do it just with their notes out in front of them, which, you know, I just think what's the point really? So I think I'm just going to do it as normal and I'm not going to cheat. Um, I, I just can't really see myself cheating. Like I can't see myself looking up the answers. I think if there was something that was like on the tip of my tongue, like I I could see it in my notes, but I just couldn't quite remember it. Maybe I'd look, I don't know, it's a tricky one. I know everyone else will be using their notes. And so obviously if I don't, then they probably will do a lot better than me. But I just wanna learn it for myself and I wanna take the exam and see what I actually get because if I do actually get like 41% and I just scrape a pass, then to me, like, I don't really want that. Like, I want to be comfortable with the content. So that will then show me that, right, I need to change the way I'm learning it. So, I'm yeah, I'm just kind of using the exam as a good indication of how much I know. And so I want to put in as much effort as I can to do well. seminar in about nine minutes um, it's going to be on zoom and it's colorectal surgery so this could encompass quite a lot of things so I'm not really sure what it's going to be on but I think it's going to be like we're going to discuss cases as a group and then maybe we'll get asked questions and things like that so yeah I really do enjoy these teaching sessions though I think they're really valuable in just like putting everything into a clinical context and being able to discuss things um, and just be able to talk to other people because I feel like otherwise I'm just sat like doing all of my work from my laptop with no kind of interaction with anyone else so yeah I really do enjoy these teaching sessions we don't have that many of them um, we kind of have like maybe on average like one or two a week um, but yeah they're really fun and good too like even if they're quite scary sometimes because you do get picked on to like answer questions I think that's quite good because it makes you learn it because then when, when you get an answer wrong and then you find out what the right answer is, I feel like you then won't make the same mistakes again. So I just had my seminar and to be honest, it was quite annoying because I was all ready for it. The Zoom link was sent to us, I clicked on it and my laptop just wouldn't connect. Um, so for like 10 minutes, I just couldn't get into this seminar. Um, eventually I got on like on my phone, but it just highlights the frustration of online uni. Like I would never be late to anything. Um, and I, I just, it was like out of my control like I just because of my internet or whatever problem it was I just couldn't get onto it that was really annoying um 
but the seminar itself was really interesting. It was, it was colorectal stuff, so it was like uh, bowel obstruction, things like that. Um, so yeah, I still like enjoyed uh, the seminar itself. It was just annoying that I couldn't get onto it. So I've got myself a cup of tea and a little bit of cake because it's just that time of day, isn't it really? I think I'm gonna do a bit more work now, so just making some more notes um, on GI hemorrhages. <laughs> outside now to do a little bit of sunbathing. Uh, this really is a realistic day in my life. Um, I don't work all day, I do actually relax. Um, so I'm going to maybe watch a bit of Made in Chelsea, uh, listen to some music, read my book, um, just relax really. It's a typical sort of British summer day where everyone's out in their gardens sunbathing because we feel like we're in a foreign country but realistically it's just the UK. It's not really that hot to be honest, like it's hot for us but in the world of climates, it's not that hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna relax for the next hour or two and do nothing. <laughs> Okay, so my piriformis is feeling a bit better now, if that's what the actual issue is. Like, when I'm walking, it's not hurting, it's like a very, very slight niggle, but I just really, 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 really want to go on a run today, and if it hurts afterwards, then, well, I'll just say I told you so to myself, because I probably shouldn't have gone, but yeah, it's just really nice weather, and I'm just going to go on a little jog, nothing too strenuous, just to test it out, and get a bit more of the sunlight and I think I really might do some more work when I get back because this is becoming a very relaxed chilled day actually more than I was anticipating it to be there are a couple of things on my to-do list I'd quite like to take off so my run is gonna motivate me my run was mildly successful it was only like two and a bit miles and I was literally like jogging it was really gentle but it was really nice to do that because normally I'm kind of running at faster pace um, so I kind of was actually just like taking everything in and then I hit these um, steps and they are literally the steepest steps I think I've ever run up, ever. Like I make it my aim to not walk, so I have to keep running up them, but I might as well be walking. Like my run is so slow. I'm literally like tiptoeing up these steps. Um, but yeah, it was just it was just quite fun really. I'm glad I went. And piriformis wise, I'm feeling like it's all right. Um, it's just a niggle, like it is there, but Hmm, I'm a bit, I'm not really sure what to do about niggles, like whether you're meant to run on them, loosen them up, or whether you're meant to just completely rest. So I think maybe I'll research that actually, like read some like running articles, because um, I don't want to like get seriously injured or anything, because then lockdown is going to be so much harder if I can't run. <laughs> just had a shower and so I'm just sorting out this mess which is my hair. The evenings often aren't the most productive time of the day for me so I'm actually gonna go walk actually back to where I've just kind of run um, to see my boyfriend obviously from two meters apart we are actually really good at the two meter rule like we have not broken it and yeah so that's it won't be long but that's going to basically be the whole evening gone, isn't it? So there's not going to be much more work. But because I am feeling a bit like I haven't done any work for a good few hours now, um, and it is technically a weekday, and I try to kind of do lots of work in the week so that the weekends I can be more kind of relaxed. But this is kind of turning out a bit like a weekend sort of day. So I'm going to just work through like one of the cases for this week. And normally I sort of copy and paste this all into a document. So I can look back on it, but realistically, I don't think I'm ever going to look back on them. So I'm just going to click through it and just like say out loud my thoughts. In fact, I might just say them out loud to you guys because then I can feel like I'm being productive. So case number one, a 51 year old man has an appointment because he has a raised blood pressure. So it's 172 over 100. That is quite raised. You're the medical student, you're asked to go see him. Okay, note down the possible presenting problems here. It's now 10 to 8. 
and I wanted to meet my boyfriend at 8, so... I'm just gonna go. You know what, I've done work today, I don't have to be super super productive every single day. I'm gonna do this tomorrow. I'm gonna go have a nice evening. Okay, so this has turned out to be quite a nice evening walk to sort of like parkish type green area near me. I'm kind of power walking because it's clapped for carers at eight and I want to be there at eight. I don't want to be clapping like walking along on my own. So this is becoming quite stressful. Oh, I'm just with my boyfriend who is an invisible person who you can't see. However, he has said that on one condition he will actually feature on this channel. So if you want to see him, which obviously you do because it's so exciting, he's not really very interesting. Um, then you need to get me to a million subscribers. So essentially, he's never going to be on the channel um, unless some miracle happens and I get a million subscribers. So, you know, if you want to start scaring him, then start subscribing. And he'll start to get worried that he's got a feature. So I'm back home now and that pretty much brings me to the end of this vlog. This has been very true to its title actually, this video. It was definitely a very realistic day in my life. I think sometimes, particular days when I know I'm gonna be really productive and I know I've got loads on and I've got loads I need to get done, then I will often vlog those days because I feel like as an audience, like you probably want to see that kind of like motivating, productive version of myself, which to be honest, like yeah, most days I am pretty productive, but some days I'm not productive at all, like a lot less than today, some days I don't do much at all, especially at the weekend, like if I've got my work done for the week, I'll often have days off at the weekend. Um, but this was a very average, realistic day, I think. Um, so I got done, what, two lectures, I had a one hour seminar, and I did some notes here and there, and I sort of like started a case and then didn't finish it. So that's pretty realistic for me um, to do like on a daily basis. I feel like it's quite sustainable to work that way. Um, but yeah, like I said, it really just varies day to day, depending on the workload, how I'm feeling, other things I need to do. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, remember to subscribe. In particular, if you like vlogs like these, I think I'm gonna be filming a lot more vlogs because I recently did a sort of poll on my Instagram and it turns out that vlogs is more like what people want to see. So obviously I'll still be doing my sit down videos to chat about medicine and running, productivity and all of that. But yeah, I'm going to definitely try and film a lot more vlogs because I do really enjoy filming and editing them. So yeah, just comment down below if you've got any suggestions for me, anything you want to see. Um, and follow me on Instagram if you want to get involved in like polls and stuff when I do them. Um, and just to sort of get more of an insight into my day to day life. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye!